What's up guys, I'm Random Frank P, back with some cool tech under $50 for May. The series we show off some of the best tech you can buy under that price point. If you see anything you like in this episode, I'll have it all listed for you in the description down below so you can check it out. First off are some different types of mouse bungees. I've got more your traditional style here with built-in USB hubs and SD card reader and more of a minimal one. Best part is they're both under 20 bucks. I know I've got a lot of gamers out there in the audience, so I figured you guys could appreciate something like this. Now both of these are different in their own ways and each have their own benefits. Checking out the more traditional style one, this one has a, some built-in RGB lighting for all you RGB lovers out there. And like I said before, on the back there are three USB 3.0 ports, a micro USB slot on the side, plus a mini SD card reader. So this is also going to give you the added benefit of having that dock right there. Then like most bungees, you route the cable from your mouse on the, uh, the top of the neck, down the back of the spine of the bungee, and this is going to help prevent your cable from snagging or anything while you're gaming. There's nothing worse when your mouse gets caught up during a gaming session or it gets caught on something in the back of your desk. That's why bungees really help out. And then there's more of the minimal one here that I've been a fan of and I've been using this for the past few months. So this one's really simple and how it works is by pressing in this little button here, it's gonna release those two kind of prongs that once you put your cable in, it'll close back up. Um, it's definitely tight, but don't worry, it's not gonna damage your cable at all. Like I said, I've been using it and had no problems whatsoever. Then inside the box, they include these little magnetic pucks for you. You attach that to your desk, and this will then snap right on the place and it's not gonna move around at all. Then once you put your cable into place, you can angle this if you want because the head of the bungee kind of moves on this revolving disc. So for under $20, both are pretty cool and unique. Definitely gonna help you out if you're a gamer to prevent any future cable snag from your mouse. Next is Sateki Monitor Riser. What's actually cool about this is this also has a built-in USB dock as well as a headphone jack and a microphone jack. You can just plug it all right into the riser itself. And with those four USB slots, they both actually transfer data so you can plug in like, you know, a mouse or a hard drive, anything you want. Now it is called a monitor riser, but obviously you can put on whatever you want from a monitor or something like a laptop, anything up to 22 pounds it says, so odds are you should be good. What I really like about these, it's gonna help cut down the clutter on your desktop. So say so you do have something on there. If you want, you can just store like, you know, your mouse, keyboard, like a notebook, anything under there, so that it does give you that added elevation. So if you ever wanted a monitor stand before, definitely check this one out for the price. And plus you get the added USB dock there as well. Definitely gonna help you out. Now next up with Nintendo Labo being released, I feel like the Switches are definitely becoming very, very popular again. And over the last year since he's been released, they've had a lot of success, but the one knock on this has always been its battery life, which is why I picked up this little uh, battery bank kind of cradle for it, which sits on the back of it and adds very minimal bulk to it. It's gonna help extend your battery overall because it has 6,500 milliamp hours built in. That should be good to extend the life of your Switch for another hour or so. And it's really easy to attach. So you can see these two buttons on the back. Once you press those in, that's gonna release the spring-loaded top cage here so you can fit your switch in. Then you just insert your switch on the little charging port on the bottom. Then you close the top down back into place. Then on the back side on the bottom, you'll see there's a little power button with these four little lights next to it. Those four lights indicate the battery level inside this. You just turn it on, it'll begin charging your switch. And they have all the proper cutouts too. You can see they have the holes for the ventilation. Up top, there's room for the power button and the volume adjustment, the headphone jack and the cartridge slot. But what's also really cool is on the back, it actually has the built-in kickstands for both these sides here. So you can just pop those out and it'll sit up nicely. These kickstands have three levels of adjustment. So you can angle it accordingly depending on where you're gaming or what you're watching or whatever. And then up top of the little cradle here, there's a little door you can open up and in here you could store some of your Switch games. So like I said, really, really minimal bulk here on your Switch. Gonna help give you an extra 6,500 milliamp hours for the battery, and you get some of those added bonuses. And it's only around $40 for the charging case. Now you probably noticed on my Switch, I've got this nice white and blue colorway going on. That's because of dbrand. They just released their skins again for the Switch. And as you can see, this is looking fire. I am loving this white and blue colorway they have going on here. You can go into their store and configure whatever kind of color combo you want. They have tons of different colors to pick from, as well as materials, textures, all that great stuff. So if you wanna check out their official relaunch of these Switch skins, I'll put a link to the dbrand store in the description down below as well. Now, next up, if you remember a few years ago on this series, I showed off the iFixit toolkits. That still to this day is one of the most popular and top selling products on this series. And here I have another tool set from Fantex. It's only $20, but it's mainly meant for PC building and modding. This is really, really helpful. 
So taking a look at it inside the carrying case, they have 20 different heads for your screwdriver. Odds are no matter what you're building or putting together, these heads will be just fine for you. But there's a few things that make this really unique. One, which is very helpful for building a PC, is all the heads on the, on the screwdriver are magnetic. That's gonna be great, so if you drop a screw or something inside your build, you can just pick it up and grab it. It's gonna help the screws not falling off the head as well. Second, the screwdriver itself has kind of this revolving base which is gonna sit in on the inside of your palm. This is great, so you can constantly be screwing something in and not have to turn your wrist at all. It's gonna really help cut down on strain. This is something I always look for when I'm buying a new screwdriver. And then as I'll show you here, you can actually extend the length of this. So once you press down to the top, you can extend the length of the screwdriver around three inches or so. This is gonna be really, really helpful for getting in between components in your build. If your other screwdrivers couldn't fit there before, this extension's really gonna help you out. Then when you're done, you can just push it right back in. But what also is really cool is they include this uh, flexible spring-loaded head here. It's pretty much the same thing. You snap it into place, and say you're trying to reach something or screw something in between your uh, CPU cooler and like RAM, if you couldn't fit there otherwise, you can just bend this here and then still screw away with this Really, really helpful stuff. Like I said, just a really great uh, toolkit here for PC building from Fantex for only 20 bucks. Definitely a great value. And then next is definitely something different. This is the Spiro Mini Robotic Ball. Oftentimes in this series, I'll read in the comments section, people want me to show off different sorts of tech. And I've had some requests to show off some kind of toys. I think this Sphero Mini uh, is definitely a good in-between spot. Definitely a really cool gift idea if you have siblings or anything like that. They could probably really like this. So once you download the app and connect it to your phone, you pretty much have full control now of this robotic ball. Whether it's outside on the gravel or in your room on the rug, really easy to control. You can either control it with their joystick interface or control it with the gyroscope built into your phone. But what's also pretty cool is inside the app, they have a few games in there. Then you can actually use the Sphero Mini as a controller by using the gyroscope inside the ball to control your games. Just some extra stuff for you. And obviously if you have pets, they're definitely gonna love chasing this thing around. I know my pup does. So like I said, with some of the requests to change up some of the variety on here, I think the Sphero Mini Little Robotic Ball is a cool little in-between spot. Definitely something cool for any siblings out there if you wanna pick up a cool little gift for them. I got this for 45 bucks on Amazon, usually teeters between like 40 and 50, so definitely fits right in. And that'll wrap it up for the cool tech under $50 for May. Hope you all enjoyed. If you did, give this video a big thumbs up to show your support. And don't forget, if you see anything you like in this episode, I will have it all listed for you in the description down below so you can check it out. Feel free to hit me up and follow me on Twitter, at RandomFrankP. And lastly, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Well, I'm RandomFrankP. Hope you enjoyed. Have a good day.